that's a record store day. Like this out. What do you remember about this was recorded? So, which is kind of rare to have something from before you your first record even came out. You have like this nice uh, sound check copy of uh, of your performance in uh, from nineteen eighty. Well, it's really very cool. I mean, a lot of people had to love music and and care about Romeo Void for this vinyl to even come out because Terry Hammer was the sound man at the Mabui for many years. And he has recordings from, I think, you know, probably at least a hundred bands. And sometime during the nineties, you know, he, you know, found me in San Francisco and gave me a cassette, you know, of, oh, I've got, you know, your band on cassette live. I was like, oh, great. You know, and I probably listened to it once and then went, yeah, well, that was then and this is now and put it away or whatever. And then another time and sometime in the early 2000s, I think he got in contact and said, well, I'm going to be starting to try to, you know, get this stuff released. You know, is that going to be a problem? And I was like, no, are you kidding? You know, go for it. Good luck, you know. But anyway, all these years later, then Liberation Hall, you know, stepped up and said they'd put it out and get involved with Record Store Day, which is, you know, one of the only ways kind of to get music, you know, bursting through a lot of people at one time. And so I, I've kind of been shocked and amazed at the interest in it and the you know comments like on my instagram and and that kind of thing from people being really excited about this coming out and it's a real interesting window on the band because i think benjamin had only been in the band a few weeks when this performance happened and i was thinking about it the other day and I think my mom might have been there that night because I brought my friend Gabriella, who never went to any punk clubs. This was like her first you know, punk club she was ever going to go to. And she went there and my mom was there. So they were like hanging out together, you know, watching out for each other. And I, I'm thinking that might have been that show, you know, just because it was around that time, very early in the band, you know, and still a really big deal that, you know, we were... We were probably the opening slot, if not the middle slot. You know, maybe we were in the middle slot. But we were probably opening for, like, I don't know, SVT or the Yanks or something like that. You know, somebody who's just doing a little better than us, the mutants, somebody, you know. So this was his do. This was him, was Terry, you said Terry, yeah, driving, Terry driving this for Record yes. Store Day in particular? No, I think that was just an opportunity that presented itself, you know, and getting involved with Liberation Hall and then Liberation Hall and the publicist, Randy, who probably contacted you guys. He's really good. And, <laughs> um, you know, them all just figuring out, yeah, let's be one of, you know, these releases that happens and that's when we'll do the vinyl. Yeah. So there's only so many vinyl that are pressed. And the figure is not huge. They told me what it is, but I don't think I should repeat it. Um, and then the bit, what happens is the record stores put in what they think they can sell. And then depending on how many record stores sign up for it, then if on the day it's shipping, you might get all the records you asked for if you're a record store, or you might get less depending on how many other record stores have signed up. So, but you can only get the vinyl through uh, an independent record store that participates in Record Store Day, because I'm sure there's record stores that don't. Yeah, stores do. <laughs> yeah, sure. But the digital downloads are available on Bandcamp, on Liberation Hall's site slash Romeo Void, and so you can get digital downloads. You can also get them to send you a CD. And the record stores that are buying LPs for Record Store Day at this point can buy CDs and get them in time for Record Store Day, but they won't still sell CDs to the other record stores till after Record Store Day. Right. Yeah, I just listened to. You can do a pre-order. Yeah. Nice. I just listened to the. Uh, I 
had like an advance of it. I completely forgot. K Rock was playing Talk Dirty to me. I heard this song and like, oh my God, I know this. I know this song. So that, what was that like? I know, I, you know, just hearing as a, a new band, hearing this on a station in Los Angeles. I'm not sure I ever heard it on, <laughs> on KROQ because we weren't down there. But I do remember the first time I heard Never Say Never on KROQ. And that was really exciting. We were heading out to um, Pasadena to be on KROQ and they played it, you know, like they're hyping us coming in. And so that was pretty exciting. But Talk Dirty to me was pretty darn big. And also what's that station down there that's um, from Long Beach? Oh, I'm, I was thinking of KXLU, the the college station, but it might be, uh, was, there was... Like K-West or K... Or, um, well, KNEC was in Long Beach. I know that. KNEC oh, was. That, that might have been it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they played us too. That's right. Before it was metal, it was... Like, like, it was pretty rocking though. It was still pretty rocking. Yeah. Yeah. But that's yeah. great. They played us too. But yeah, for K Rock, all you had to do was be provo- have some provocative lyrics, and K Rock uh, and a and a uh, great beat, and boom, K Rock. You know they love it. They love that stuff. I did too. I that's why I still remember. <laughs> so when you showed up at K Rock, were people were there fans there since they were talking about you coming? Because their pe- fans for bands used to come and just you know hang out at the door. I don't remember that. <laughs> I remember going upstairs, and I remember we talked to Dusty Rhodes. Oh, Dusty Street. Dusty Street. Cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, and it was, you know, funky little like Victorian type, you know, house, as I recall. And you pull in the back and go up the back stairs and K Rock's there. 